Hi, I'm Emily O'Hare, a genomic analyst at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard. This video will provide an overview of the different filters that can be applied to sequencing data in Seeker, as well as some filtering recommendations for rare disease analysis. To begin a variant search, click the variant search button next to the family you would like to analyze on the project page. Once you are on the variant search page, you can begin adjusting your search parameters. While you have the option to manually set your own search parameters by expanding and adjusting each of the filter categories, we recommend beginning your variant search using one of the predefined searches built into Seeker. These can be found within the saved search menu. We typically begin with the standard de novo dominant restrictive search. By expanding the inheritance field, we can see that this particular search filters for variants where all affected individuals have at least one alternate allele and all unaffected individuals have two reference alleles. This search also prioritizes variants that have been previously reported as pathogenic or likely pathogenic in ClinVar. It is important to note that this pathogenicity filter will override the annotations filter. Variants will be returned if they have either the specified pathogenicity or the transcript consequences that have been selected in the annotations filter. For example, if there is a synonymous variant that is pathogenic in ClinVar, this will be returned even if you do not select synonymous variants in the annotation section. The standard de novo dominant restrictive search focuses on the following types of variants. Being more restrictive with the annotations filter will give you a shorter list of variants to review, but risks overlooking an important variant. If your initial search is unrevealing, you can later add additional variant types for a more permissive search. The frequency filter sets cutoffs for allele frequency, allele count, and homozygous and hemizygous count based on reference population databases including 1000 genomes, EXACT, NOMAD, and TOPMED. Additionally, this filter sets allele frequency and allele count cutoffs for the call set, which includes the samples in the family you are analyzing, plus the rest of the samples that were joint called as part of variant calling for your project. The standard de novo restrictive search looks for variants with frequencies less than 0.1% across all population databases and less than 1% across the call set. For small projects, you should set this to one, which essentially turns it off. Lastly, the de novo dominant restrictive search only returns variants that pass the quality filters that were applied when the data set was processed, which includes GATK's VQSR or hard filters. If no variants of interest are found using this setting, you can later change the call quality filter to show all variants instead. You can also filter variants based on genotype quality and allele balance. You can perform a search for recessive variants by selecting the standard recessive restrictive search. These standard search parameters are very similar to those that were just discussed, except rather than returning de novo variants, this search returns any homozygous or compound heterozygous variants in the affected individual. For male probands, this search will also return hemizygous variants on the X chromosome. If no variants of interest are returned from these initial searches, we recommend relaxing frequency, annotation, and quality parameters for a more permissive search. A de novo dominant permissive search option with more relaxed criteria is available in the saved search menu. Another filtering approach is to use the location filter to limit your search to a specific location in the genome, whether it be a chromosomal region, gene or gene list, or even a specific variant. To filter by gene or interval, simply enter the gene symbols in capital letters or genomic intervals separated by commas or white space in the text box on the left. If you have already saved a gene list to your project page, you can select your gene list from the dropdown on the right 
and the corresponding genes will automatically populate the text box. When you have a small number of genes that are highly suspicious for the patient phenotype, you may choose to be more permissive in other parameters such as annotations in order to review all possible candidates in those genes. Seeker also gives you the option to create your own custom search by saving your search parameters so that they can be applied to other cases. To do so, click the Save Search link and label the search in a way that you will remember what it is for. These searches will only be visible to your account and will appear across the families and projects that you have access to. Once you have set all of your desired search parameters, click the blue search button to return your filtered variants and begin analysis. The number of variants returned based on your search parameters can be seen underneath the filters on the left. The default variant search results page orders the variants by chromosome position, but you also have the option to sort them by OMIM genes, in silico scores, frequency, and more by using the sort by drop-down menu. An overview of the information provided for each of the variants returned by your search is available in separate tutorials. We hope you enjoy using Seeker.